Hey everyone, um, for those of you that are watching, um, that are watching the court um, docket, you'll already have noticed um, that another document dropped. So um, we pretty much won this phase of the of the uh, TRO. Um, the judge did um, install a potential date of um, April first for the map to take effect uh, with a potential March 31st opt-out date. Understand something, it's potential because um, the city and the demands and the criteria in the December 7th document um, that's before the court. You can find that up in the, up in the court site as well, okay? Um, so, uh, so just so you're aware, this doesn't mean opt out yet. This just means keep the status quo. Okay. The city hasn't yet met those benchmarks. They have to report back to the city. I think it's every two weeks. And if the um, they have to report back to the judge every two weeks, and if the judge is satisfied that they have met their, um, requirements, um, he will allow a, uh, implementation date of April 1st with a potential opt-out date of up to the just the day before. <laughs> um, so it's a very good win for us um, because you now you know at least um, we have until April to be in this plan, in our current plans, our GHI plan, um, that there will not be a premium increase until this is even allowed to go forward. Um, and then the city will have to send you a letter telling you about when um, uh, all of the changes, corrections, modifications that are being made to the enrollment guide and give you an opportunity to request a printed copy, as well as allow you to view the one that's online so that you can see it electronically. Okay. So there's a lot to, for them to do in this little time frame of the next couple of months. But so, you know, the status quo exists. Um, so again, do not opt out yet. There's no need to. Nothing's yet been um, finalized. <laughs> Um, the judge still has to hear the underlying case and, and we, and he even says that in his order, he knows that's coming. Okay. So, um, with that, the, uh, copay issue, we still believe that the copay issue falls under status quo. So if January 1st comes and you go to your doctor and they ask you for a copay or you get new insurance cards for GHI senior care, and they say that you have a $15 copay, um, not a million of you or 13,000 of you or however many we are today, but a couple of you, please just reach out to us or post, hey, I got my new senior care card and it says $15 copay. Or, hey, I just went to the doctor and I buy PCP, you know, charge me 15 bucks. That's what we need to be able to say, hey, the city didn't uh, live up to the status quo judge and look what they're doing. So please let us know that, okay? Um, and yes, that goes into the second part of our case to be fought, you know, in court and the judge has yet to hear that and he will. Um, this is also a really good time that you're for you to start reaching out to the press people that you do know and our press people will be doing the same thing. And what is that? We need them to see, we need you to start saying in comments in the papers or to reporters, hey, this would be a perfect time for um, given that we just won this next phase and they had to ro delay this rollout thing to potentially April, that uh, Mayor-elect Eric Adams and um, Comptroller-elect Brad Landers weigh in on this subject and get involved and meet us at the table. So um, let's see what happens, okay? Um, will the court order be out in print? N no, you can just go up onto the New York State Court site and go print that out, Scott. Um Yes, great news. I'm trying to do a quick scroll. So I don't see a lot of comments on here. I'm um, So just again, re quick recap, and then I'll let you go. Um, that the judge did come down with a delay. He delayed the, the rollout to potentially April 1st with a um, March 31st uh, potential opt-out date. Um, at best, because they still have all of the criteria that they have to meet. And if they don't meet them, they don't fulfill all of the requirements set forth by the court, they cannot implement this plan. Therefore, do not opt out yet, because right now still the plan doesn't exist. It has not been finalized, okay? 
Um, yes, the copays are, are coming according to the city. We still believe that's a status quo. And, um, and we are getting ready to challenge that in the next phase of our case. If we get past January 1st and someone gets a copay, I need to know it, okay? So, so contact one of the officers and let us know. I am Tom, that's why I'm doing a quick, quick recap. Um, and the judge will still have to hear the rest of this case. Please do not opt out, read my lips, okay? Do not opt out yet, okay? Why? Because you're putting yourself at risk to being charged $194 by the city. Just hang tight, okay? Um, and that's it. That's, that's, uh, that's the news. That's the news for today. Um, yes, it will be the same judge Ellen listening to the rest of this case. Um, so that's the scoop hugs to everybody. This is another really good day. And, um, I just wanted to say thank you for all of your support. Keep your donations coming in. We truly appreciate it. We have more bills coming in from the attorneys. Um, but it's, Hey, it's well, it's hard earned money, right? Cause we're doing really, really well. So that said, um, Love you guys, and uh, we will we will chat again soon. <laughs> Bye.